So good news, bad news. I'm the goat. I'm gonna text from the goat lady today. Something happened to the little one? Good morning, modern stutters. It's a nice, beautiful day. Pluto is having fun scaring the meat birds. It's supposed to be 80 today. Here I am in a sweatshirt this morning. It's supposed to be high of 81 or 2 today. Good morning, girls. You want some grain? Huh? You ready for some fresh grain? You're crazy. Good morning, sausage. Wings. I like that tripod. That's not food. We might have some pretty long winters around here, but this time of the year in summer is this is one of the nicest areas I found to live in that has the best weather. We don't have much humidity. If it gets hot, it usually cools off at night. If it don't, it's only for like a week or two. The garden's looking good. Those tomatoes are taken real nicely to being transplanted. Let's take a walk and see if they picked up the rest of the logs they had sitting over here. I didn't realize that they came and got the logs. There was about two trillo loads of logs, one of softwood and one of hardwood. Right here the other day. So that's exciting that they're all gone. I don't know when they're coming back to finish up the stumping with the excavator, but I do know the excavator's here till they're done. Hopefully they'll be coming back in the next couple of days and we'll get it all stumped. <laughs> And then hopefully we'll get all the numbers back on everything. We sold our wood chips because they're worth a decent amount of money. I might not make money off of the chips, but that's what pays to get the loggers here and makes it so I don't have to pay for them doing the work they did. So once we get all the numbers for the logs and the wood chips in and the expense of everything, we'll share it with everybody on the channel. Just the other day I was in a hooded sweatshirt and Gina was in her winter coat and this afternoon it's 80 degrees out. It's crazy. Let's just see what the chickens are up to. I think they want to know what I'm up to. We're going to go collect their eggs. I think they're hoping we have food for them. Mr. Biggs. Man, he has no respect for the video camera. I'm telling you, I think we have a broody hen. She got me good yesterday. She's mean. We don't really need any more chickens, but you know what? I'm gonna let her sit on the eggs and see if she hatches any out. I think it's fun watching a mother hen hatch out and raise her own chicks. Come on, blow it out. But shh, don't tell Gina that that chicken is sitting on a bunch of eggs. She thinks we've got enough chickens around here, which we do, but it's fun to have babies around the homestead, especially when the mom raises them. Let's see how Sausage and Lynx are doing in the hot day. Good afternoon, girls. Their pen area is in full sun in the morning, and then in the afternoon, it is completely shaded. Huh, girls? They have hit the electric fence a few times, I've heard them, which is a good thing. And they're doing good on their grain. I'll get you some more because it's not going to rain. Chickens are all doing good in the heat. We still have one rogue meat bird. He's been out ever since we moved him. But I kind of like having him loose. I like to see how smart they are on their own. And we'll see how quick he grows because he's fending for himself. It's just 
I don't know, I think that's fun. I like to know how they're gonna survive on their own. Can they keep themselves from predator attack? And if they can, that's awesome. I know the Cornish crosses couldn't do that, and they couldn't eat enough on pasture or whatever they're finding around the homestead to grow either. Our pullets are doing good. I'm thinking about letting them free range. I might put them in New York City, put a electric netting fence around them, get them used to going back and forth to New York City on their own, and then just letting them have the run of the homestead. We're enjoying having the chickens running around the homestead. It's just neat to watch. And it feels more like a farm. You're silly. What? I need to get you some more hay. You're silly. Oh, does that hay make you sneeze? So I kept smelling propane. Not bad, but just a faint smell. I smelt my tanks. I couldn't figure it out. I smelt my gas grill. Made sure it was off. We got a tank this winter that's bad. Anytime we try to use it, it froze up right away. And we had it on the outside of the outdoor kitchen. And listen. Oh, it stopped. Can you hear that? The chickens are making too much noise! Ah! The valve is leaking. Oh, the expansion valve had propane coming out of it. What do I do? I stuck it away from the house in the outdoor kitchen. So if you have any tips what to do with that tank, leave it in the comments down below. <coughs> Mr. Biggs. I don't dare put it in the back of my truck to exchange it. That's what I was going to do. I think it has something to do with the heat today. So I don't know if it was overfilled by somebody or what the deal is. We are planting. Oh, come on. Spaghetti uh, squash. Spaghetti squash, zucchini, and some cucumbers. You run out. No. Uh oh. So good news, bad news on the goats. I got a text from a goat lady today. Isn't that happened to the little one? No, but we're not getting them until after June 11th now. Why? Because she's got her vet coming and she's gonna do her yearly checkup. 
get the CL test, the CAE test, and all the other tests. Oh, done. she is? Yeah. So I don't have to worry about it. So you don't have to worry about it. She's getting it done. How come? Because she just said her, she texted me and said her, she scheduled her annual vet visit and the vet's coming out to do all that testing and he'll be here June, thir June 11th, so it'll be the weekend after that. I said, oh, awesome. When can we get the goats? And she said, the weekend after the 11th. And then she texted me back and said, do you want me to give you a hoof trimming lesson? I said, oh, that'd be awesome. She says, okay, I won't trim any hoof. I won't trim their hoofs until that weekend. Hmm. And I'll show you how to do it. Hmm. I was like, well, that's cool, but we're going to wait another week to get the goat. Yeah, but how, how, how are they doing there? She said they're doing awesome. She said all the goats are doing good. How do we do, Pluto? Do we do good? Do we pass your inspection? Pluto? Did we pass? Somebody was asking in the comments what kind of green beans we were planting. And here, I'm not gonna try to say that word. Kalima? What's that? Kalima? I don't know. Kalima? I don't know, something like that. They are a bush bean. That's what I do know. And they're fast growing. Your entourage? Our peeps. Your peeps. Like, I don't want to go in there. And they're like, I do, I do. Look at them strawberries, Pluto. Ooh, well, not strawberries yet. Look at all the flowers. Miss Olivia is very excited. Is she? Yes. She's dreaming of eating them already? Yes. Want to drink? Want to drink? No. Want to drink? 